Hey guys, um, I've been thinking about it for, I don't know, a while now. Uh, YouTube isn't really a, a platform, especially for somebody who isn't benefiting monetarily out of it, very useful as what I would call a, a, a place to upload videos. The only thing they have going for them that uh, Facebook is already starting to implement itself although it's been for shorter video videos but it it'll eventually increase to longer videos <sighs> there seems to be this uh, issue where YouTube's only for high definition uploads at least at least for my usage and maybe if I had greater internet I'd have a greater interest in um, uploading videos that were higher definition as it is I'm not really that interested in YouTube anymore. It seems like the website has caused me a lot of problems. It's not very friendly to the concept of uh, me personally. And um, why that matters is because, you know, this is my life. And I just, uh, I, I'm not very enthusiastic anymore when it comes to uploading videos to YouTube. Like, it doesn't really matter to me as much as it used to. Now, see, when I was growing up, I was like, oh man, if all there was was I could just get a camera and upload a YouTube video, right, then then it would feel good, then I, I could do things. But as, as time's worn as along, I mean, let's look at it honestly right now. The concept that I'm working with here is that YouTube is... Um not what it was a long time ago and that's partially due to the fact that uh, it's so popular I guess you could say but at the end of the day uh, it just doesn't have what it used to have for me it used to be and I'm not you know really one to you know give a shit one way or another but it's too stifling I mean they have too many rules now they're very obnoxious I know that everybody watches my videos anyways, here, uh, there, anywhere. I don't even have to try. They're basically desperate to watch them. It's not like I'm trying to uh, get the videos out there. People want them before I've even finished with them, basically. So, in a sense, it's it's kind of like... YouTube has kind of uh, grown into something that isn't something that I care about anymore and uh, I've been thinking about it for a while and just saying that I was gonna I was gonna finish up what I had planned for YouTube and kinda just move completely off platform over to Facebook and Twitter and uh, you know now that Instagram is actually fully functional on a computer I was gonna start uploading some photography photos over there just a few, just just a few things that I, I you know, liked taking photos of that are kind of sentimental to me and uh, just, you know, matter somewhat to me, you know, like a few photos of sunrises and sunsets and stuff. Not really going to put a big commitment into it. Uh, but the point is, is that <clears throat> I wanted to be on YouTube in the first place and, and I don't, nobody's like me with this. I always hoped that YouTube could be a sociable community where, uh, you know, you could freely chat with people and that the reply videos would actually be regulated if anybody remembers that whole debacle. And that, you know, I, I think we've already talked about this on a Facebook live stream, which is why I'm moving over anyways, I just don't care. Uh, that it would basically be something that would interest a large number of people and that I could engage with other people that make videos. Now, that's partially my fault because as we know, everybody's a trust fund baby on YouTube and they don't really give a shit about anybody but themselves. So, I don't know why I assumed it would be this, you know, sort of theater house setting. I guess I got excited when you could make reply videos and, and YouTube seemed to be going a direction I was interested in for a while. And then it turned into something that I did not care about in the slightest. 
and it just kept getting more that way, more impersonal. Everybody wants to copy my videos and other people's videos, and it's it's like the, the spirit of creativity is long since drained from YouTube. I mean, there are creative people on here who upload big projects of movies and other things that they have planned like what i mean by that is like youtube you know there's like these amazing skit makers who usually end up working in the film industry anyways and it's it's just it doesn't matter to me again it's not like i'm making any money out, out of my own pocket you know i've spent money for no fucking reason that i, I don't even really can afford it's, it's not like i fucking care but i'm just saying so I just can't find any reasons other than high definition uploads because VO or whatever isn't doing that right now so so I would actually switch over to that too it's just I'm disgusted with YouTube and everybody on it and how hyper competitive they are and resentful that somebody like me is on the platform and uh, how much they just basically wish that they were doing the things that I was doing and I don't like the type of environment anymore, so I'm going to switch from red to blue, basically. From, from red YouTube to, to Twitter blue and to uh, Facebook blue. And uh, it, it really does seem that way. It's like Facebook has become this commune of communists that are all hyper-wealthy, that have infinite different resources, and yet want to make the shitty type of stupid YouTube videos that you can make in three seconds on your phone because they have no creativity. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's just become a meaningless location to me. And I don't really like that meaninglessness. I mean, my ultimate goal is to completely wrap up everything I'm doing here on YouTube by the end of 2024 and have everything that I have planned to upload to YouTube be finished and um, I, I guess that's really all I have to say about YouTube you can still expect the occasional upload and I mean you can of course stay subscribed not that you know anybody who's pretending like that they're uh, subscribed like like for example I, <laughs> You know, when you play games with somebody like me, it's not like I don't know that everybody's staring at my goddamn YouTube videos. I have every single porn star off of Twitter talking to me in ZPS years ago. It, it just, it's boring, it's tiring, I'm not getting the views I, I want out of a, a situation that's far too personal while being completely impersonal like for, you have to look at it from my perspective and I know you can't because you don't give a shit so I don't really give a shit about your perspective I guess I'm saying in closing just it's not the type of place that I care about anymore it offers me very little in the way of satisfaction when I only have a couple hundred subscribers um, again, these videos, you probably won't notice a, a difference because I have some planned things that I was going to edit through and upload. Uh, some recipes, some various videos that different people would enjoy. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's uh, already over. It's just, you know, starting to catch up to the point where you'll notice. So I thought I'd just give you a heads up and tell you that while there probably be plenty of videos through the next year that's coming up here, you know, I have lost interest in YouTube, and at this point, I'm just running on empty. I mean, it's it's not like you can expect somebody like me who's uh, played video games in, in ZPS and had other people upload them for me. I mean, my presence truly basically started in 2008 on YouTube, and if you want to get even more direct, like, probably... There's people who are creating montages of me since I got Quake way back, uh, Quake 3, and then uploading them as soon as YouTube was even available. And it's just not something that I care about. I, I don't know what other way to, to say it, but imagine if you were for a second thinking about um, what you want to do. And you just find that every time you use a particular website, 
aside from the asshole behavior of the moderators on it who like to take other people's sides on issues and things, it's just made for, I guess I would say as well, a, a generation that I'm not really a part of. And uh, they're obsessed with like Fortnite videos and stupid jokes that I don't give a shit about. So I guess with that, um, that's about it. I just, I don't know, you know, got tired of it. I got tired of YouTube. I'm tired of being on there with everybody around me being a complete and total cunt. And I think that o overall, I, I, it's not like as if this is going to change easily. So someday I may upload to YouTube again. But by that point, hopefully, you know, I don't know. The sun burns out and the world's dead and everybody's fucking, you know, completely, you know, uh, just, just gone. Because at the end of the day, I'm not interested in interacting with the type of people that call YouTube their home. They're just scumbags with absolutely no soul. And frankly, I, I hate each and every one of them. And I know that, you know, even me saying that right now on YouTube is enough to get some people, you know, crybabying already. Because they seem to have developed an addiction, major YouTubers even, to the concept that they got to copy my videos and compete with me. And I feel like if I create a separation, because I'm not making a single red cent and I'm doing this entirely out of my own boredom anyways, that, that hopefully they'll, you know, grow the fuck up and uh, do their own things and stop comparing their life to mine, even though they always grew up wealthy and, uh, you know, probably just, you know, paid YouTube to get in position in the first place and then hold their position by having enough six-year-olds who give a shit about their videos or 35-year-old man-children that act like they're six-year-olds. I'm done. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Goodbye.